So this is what not to do in terms of assembling these things. Initially, I thought I should make each section of the tube and then slide one into the other. And you, you can kind of do it. I'm not going to be able to do it with one hand, but you can do it, but it doesn't work right. Um, there will be a small gap, and as the guy moves through, he'll get stuck on that small gap, and it'll slow him down, and he won't move. So what you're going to see is that there is a ridge here, and that actually fits into... Very hard to see, but a gap here. Okay. Similarly, on the bottom is a ridge, and there is a trough, a little indented spot right there. And so this has to go in there. This has to go on the top, and it's going to be the same thing as you build, because once this is together, here's the next piece, and there's that ridge on the top and bottom, and the next piece will connect to that. So what you have to do is make sure that you have the piece. There we go. So, right there, I can feel it locked. Like, if I don't have it right, I can slide it. But if I have it correctly, it's locked. And now I'm going to take the second piece and get that ridge right over there and line it up. And now that's... That's nice and tight. I mean, you can see that I can do that. And what I'm gonna have to do is put the clips on. So I got the clips on. You can see that actually now stays by itself. It's actually hanging in midair, okay? And I will have to put obviously more clips on here. And it's hard to film yourself doing that, but I'm gonna put the clips on here and this, will, this part will stay together. So now I got clips here and here. I, mean, I, I skipped one, I didn't have enough clips to do all of them here and here, and at the end. And now I'll put my new piece on. This will go underneath. And then my plastic piece with the two buttons will go on top. And again, I'm always making sure I get these two ridges in there firmly. So I came up with a different way to do these um, clips. I had been just trying to pry them off. Sometimes I was using this to get in there and clip them off, but it looks like if you just slide them, come right off and you can put them on in the same way yeah so that works way better so you can see when it's actually working it's turned on right now keep actually going around which is pretty cool added the um, vertical piece but um, I'll show you a little bit of how this works so it still works pretty good put the guy in if you pull this out Stops. And then if you go like this, it goes over there. And you can make them so again pull the lever out here in a second. He stops. And then do this lever. And he goes back. The other guy, so I'm gonna put it back in. And he'll go back around as usual. This guy you can drop in, and it's gonna slow this guy down. Cause it kind of plugs the thing. There's actually a thing that says, uh, the mark knot must be removed from the vertical horizontal track layout in order for the horizontal track layout to work. But you'll see it kind of still works. And he's definitely slowing down. You can kind of shoot this guy. Oh, he actually, wow. I never saw him make it that far. That's, <laughs> that's actually cooler than I realized. I haven't seen him make it that far before. <laughs> so I've added um, 
two more straight tracks. And you can see it still is working quite well. I was really surprised. I didn't think it would. So the question is, can the guy go up not one tube, but two tubes? Okay, so power on. Oh! So he did it, actually. That's surprising. All right, so here's one, two, and three. The issue is going to be, I actually took it off of the stands, and that way it's on the floor, because at some point that thing's going to want to go left and right. So here we go. One, two, three. Oh, my gosh. Does it? So I was able to prove the concept that I could uh, go up one, two, three. So it only seems logical that this is the next test. So what we got here is uh, our two-story foyer. So I don't know what it is, but it's, it's basically with all the tall tracks. And we're gonna see if it actually works. All right, so I have not tried this, so I'm gonna turn it on in a minute. And we're gonna see if it makes it all the way up. Dizzying heights, here we go. All right, so the first time it didn't work, I'm not sure why. There we go. Oh my God. He made it. So that's pretty amazing that that actually worked. Um, I ended up using the supports underneath. It was kind of unsturdy on the floor. One sturdy here, or one, one support here, and then I needed to uh, tape it because um, it was gonna, you know, it obviously was not gonna work otherwise. Taped it one place, two places, and then especially at the top. But that's pretty impressive. So there's got to be some air loss, but not enough that it didn't work. So that's pretty cool. So you can actually get them to hover if you get the control just right. All right, so I wanted to do another track, uh, basically a U-shaped. I had thought about connecting it to here, but when you look down there at the U-shape, the, the, you know, the curve, it's, it's this wide, so it can never get back in here without doing some damage to the track. So I have instead made this huge U-shaped one, and we're gonna give it a try and see what happens. So I added this piece because it's gonna be the easiest way for me to get the guy back in, okay? All right, so let's give it a try. Actually, do more than one guy at a time. So you can go. So it slows him down. There's one, there's two. So another thing that came with it is these. Um, what you call them specifically, but if you have your own micronauts, you can put these in here. So let me show you how these work. So these go on the track in the same way. So another thing is they have these, you're supposed to be able to make a train. They give you these little white pieces. You connect it to here, connect it to here. And we're gonna shove this in and see how it works. Pen. There it goes, it's actually going. Oh, we stuck. The train doesn't work that great. It, it worked once when I was practicing it, but uh, it's definitely harder for it. So my last uh, thing is to uh, send a Lego guy 
kind of righteously a space Lego dude and see if he will make it through the tomb, tomb of doom. Yes. The last thing to attempt is a reverse tunnel thing with Jigger. So I don't know about you, but it's pretty impressive. It's a nice little set. The extra uh, tracks and things are great. Um, and it's a lot funner than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be kind of simplistic. You can only do one thing, but you can, you can be creative with it. So here it is with everything laid out. So I have two guys and I'm not so sure that the thing came with two guys. It almost feels like there's two sets here. Um, the guy had, like, there's two sets of directions. Even though I've made pretty much what's shown here. There's one extra track I didn't do. Um, there's, like, four extra straight tracks, two extra curved tracks. Um, seemingly one extra of these curved things. The guy said something about his dad sending away for something, so I don't know if he got extra pieces.